Hey, hey everybody, Pastor Keith here, and I'm thrilled to have you joining me for our very first Rooted video. That's right, at our church we've been asking that question, how do we make sure our lives are rooted and established in God? So this past week we talked about being rooted in Scripture. So we didn't want to just talk about it, we wanted to give you an opportunity for us to do it together. So if you've got your Bible, your device, please turn with me to Matthew chapter 4, beginning with verse 1, reading through verse 11. I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation, and I invite you to read along with me. After we go through the passage, we're going to ask some searching, rooted questions, I call them, to help us get the most out of what God's Word is teaching us today. So Matthew chapter 4, beginning with verse 1, it says this, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During that time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot in a stone. But Jesus responded, The scriptures also say you must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say you must worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. Isn't that incredible to dive into God's word together? But how do we get rooted in it? How do we not read it only for knowledge's sake? And that's important. But how do we find ourselves rooting ourselves in it? Well, there's a technique that was taught to me many years ago by a ministry that I still utilize to this day called the SPECS method. S-P-E-C-S. -E it's a little acrostic that you can incorporate into your daily rooted readings to help you get the most out of God's Word and the reading of God's Word. The S stands for sins to confess. So as you're reading through God's message, are there any sins that you need to confess that you're convicted of? Maybe when you read that part in Matthew 4, 7, where it said, you must not test the Lord your God, you felt that moment. Oh man, I've tested God. I said, God, if you just let me win the lottery, I will do all that you've asked me to do. Anything that you need to confess is sins. Any P, promises to claim. What are the things that God has promised? In this moment, in this time, we remember that in temptation, that God always provided an answer for temptation. Maybe that's a promise you need to claim today. E, are there any examples to follow? And man, do we have an example to follow in this text today. Jesus, how did he always respond to temptation? With God's word. So knowing God's word, having it hidden in your heart, what an incredible example to follow from Jesus. C, any commands to obey? Lots of commands to obey here, right? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. How are we doing with those commands? Anytime you see a command, line yourself up to it. How am I doing fulfilling that command? Am I faithful to it? Am I following you in that regard? And then S, that last S in specs, is the summary thought for the day. Hey, what did Holy Spirit speak to your heart as you, was reading, as you were reading from the living and active word? S-P-E-C-S, -E sins to confess, promises to claim, examples to follow, commands to obey, summary thought for the day. This week, as you dive into God's message every day, walk through those specs and find yourself more and more rooted in his word. 